Hey everybody, this is Jen with Genco Designs. Today we're going to talk about pixels versus vectors in Affinity Designer. So um, before we get started on that, I wanted to show you the tools that I use. It's good. It's um, so much easier to use a tablet. For vector drawing, you can get away with a very good mouse and your keyboard shortcuts. For pixels, a, a uh, tablet so that you have a pen type instrument is so much easier. It's so much easier, so, so much more creative. So I have a simple Wacom tablet. It's the small one. You don't need a big one because you can always scale your drawing. I have a Kensington uh, trackball mouse, which is really great because I don't get any fatigue at all. And I'll have um, links to these down in the, in the description of the video in case you want to go check them out. Okay, so those are the tools that I use to do my um, work in Affinity Designer. Okay, so let's get started. Let's show you the difference. Okay, so what are vectors? Vectors are elements, objects, lines that are created mathematically. They are defined by the distance between two points. Okay. Um, they're great for uh, digital art because they can be scaled and they don't lose any definition at all. Um, the thing about using vectors though is they are very specifically defined, okay? So uh, they have a great place in art, but they are also somewhat restricting, right? So these are examples of vectors, okay? so. What's the difference between a vector and a pixel? Well, in Affinity Designer, there are different personas up here. The draw persona is for vectors. The pixel persona for pixels, of course. So let's go ahead and show you what the pixels are about. Go ahead and select your brush over here. And we're going to select uh, just a line out of your basic uh, brushes over here in the brush uh, panel. Okay, and we'll switch our color here. So in pixels, you're actually coloring just an element, a very small element of the screen display, okay? And what happens with this is they're not defined mathematically. They can be scaled this way, but you don't get the, it's a whole different, um, they're more, I guess the best description is, they're more like a photograph okay, than, they, than a vector is, okay, so, but the great thing about pixels is you can be super creative with them, okay, and let me show you in a different drawing how we can do that. So these are pixels, and um, let's see, the, so that's the brush tool, before I leave here I want to show you the erase tool over here, it looks like this, and you can come in and just erase, okay. So it has its own benefits because to do this in vectors is a little bit more complicated. But let me show you something else. Okay, so we want to do some clouds here. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to select a brush tool. We're going to come over to uh, our brushes. We're in the effects brush panel here. We're going to select this 240 brush. I'm going to select uh, white from my swatches, okay? Um, and then we want to add a pixel layer right here, which is the uh, center one down here, or your assistant will automatically add that for you, but we'll add one. Okay, so we got everything ready. We're going to go to about 50% opacity, somewhere in there. And we just want to come out here and um, just you know, do some squiggles. We just want to make it very light, something very, just very kind of, you know, wispy clouds going here. But you see how you can do this in pixels. You could never do anything like this with vectors because vectors is just too defined, too explicit. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the difference between vectors and pixels. This gives you an idea. The rest of this drawing was done in vectors. You can see the defined lines, the gradients. I put a little noise in there for some texture, but could have never done the clouds in a vector. You have to use pixels. That's one of the great things about Affinity Designer is you get pixels and you get vector in the same program. Hey, if you like my videos, please subscribe. It really does make a difference. Hit that uh, like button and share with your friends. I got a lot of great content coming up. 
See you next time.